Excited? You know, as a longtime friend, the great admirer Claudette, as I said earlier, I'm humbled and honored to preside over this wedding. However, you will quickly realize I'm not a minister, merely a close friend that cares deeply about Jeff and Claudette. And if presiding over this wedding was not intimidating enough, I had to follow Georgia, who you know is a famous actress and I've admired her for many years. Page one. I couldn't be happier standing here amongst our family and our friends in a beautiful setting. These are the folks who, a lot of these folks probably still are having a hard time believing that I'm marrying you. Because I was the guy who never fully committed to anything the 80% guy, keeping all my options and escape routes on the table, never being able to trust anyone fully. Then I met you and fell in love. Your amazing love, Claudette, convinced me to begin to trust. And experience the, ma the magic of your love for me. We both began a new path of trust, and that led us to a new path of truthfulness. If my life was a puzzle, it would have been the jigsaw puzzle that always had one piece missing.
best friend. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. All that I am I give you and all that I have I share with you. Whatever the future holds, I will love you. And stand by you as long as we both shall live. And the authority vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Now in celebration of your love and commitment to one another, you may now kiss the bride for the second time. Yeah, I'm going to go 
Tonight is a collision of, you know, 35 years of friendships, family, two families colliding together, friends colliding together, and uh, your, your decision to come to this event tonight, you'll never know how much it meant to collide at night. Best um, venue ever. <laughs> Let's say for the crew of the Royal Princess, right? Yeah. Late Lady Liberty looked pretty good. She didn't move. I was hoping. I thought I saw a movie once where she moved. But um, you know, we love we love each and every one of you in so many different ways. Um, we would not be standing here tonight if it wasn't for Bob and Carol Sermon. Right there. Raise your hands. Seven years ago, uh, they invited a girl named Claudette to break in on my standing date with them in Chicago. And I said, all right, that'll be good. Well, see what happens? <laughs> Thank you, Bob and Carol, for changing my life. Thank you guys for everything. Uh, I think we have one more dance, right?
good practice now. Now this time, let's really hear for our bride and groom. Yes! What you say? 